Hi everybody, it is side week and this is the house church video for that. Um, on Sunday we talked about my fear and my fear is that I'm not good enough. Um, talked about that in lots of different contexts but when we really pare it all down and we really look at it, uh, me not being good enough, the, the root of that is me feeling like I'm not good enough in God's eyes. And so we talked about what that could look like. And we talked about um, in Matthew, it says that no matter the amazing things that we might be doing for God, specifically things like prophesying, casting out demons, seeing miracles happen, Jesus has this statement that he says to the person who says, I've done all these things. And he looks at him and he says, I don't know who you are. And so my fear is that that would happen no matter what, that I'm not good enough, that I haven't done enough things in order to make God know who I am, to make God notice me. And so the question that I start out with is, what do I do? What do I have to do in order to be good enough uh, or feel good enough for God? My light bulb moment comes when I actually take a look at what this passage is saying, uh, look at the context in Matthew and then look in the wider context of the Bible. And I realized that what the Bible is actually telling me is that I'm not good enough, that I'm actually asking the wrong question. What do I do to be good enough is actually the wrong thing to be focused on because the Bible is pretty clear that I'm not good enough. And, and, and more than that, um, it's almost a ridiculous thing to think that I could be good enough because the Bible talks about how I am actually dead. And so a dead person can never be good enough to do anything. Um, and my light bulb moment really comes as I take a look at what Paul says in Ephesians 2. So I want to read that for you. In Ephesians 2 verses 4 and 5 it says, But God is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much, that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. So then my arrow comes when I realize that I'm not good enough, but that God sent Jesus to die for me and he declares me good and he uh, is resurrecting me. And so um, the, the thing that I need to do with that is to come to God with a heart full of gratitude, with thankfulness, instead of going to him saying, but I've done this or I've done that and I've done other things, um, to come with him and say, thank you for changing me. Thank you for changing my heart. Thank you for resurrecting me. Thank you for making me a different person, the person that you want me to be. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for declaring me good. Thank you that you loved me so much that you would do that and that it's because of you that you know me, not because of the things that I have done. And so we go from being afraid of not being good enough to resting in the freedom that I'm not, but God is and he's made me good and he's declared me good. So that was my question mark light bulb and arrow from this passage and from these fears that I've been exploring and so have a great time discussing your fears and as they re relate to being good enough and what God says about you and about who you are this week in your house church as you build relationships with each other um, and hold each other accountable to uh, growing in your faith. Have a good discussion everybody.